when we look at the world, it looks incredibly complicated. In physics, the campaign has always been to kind of screen out the illusion of the complexity and to search for simplicity. And the search for simplicity has been a tremendous driving factor. You could say it's a philosophical motivation, the belief that the universe is actually knowable and is actually simple. That means that all of the physical phenomena of matter that we understand that you can reduce the complexity of this entire world is reducible to one mathematical law. And the power of that is tremendous. The one outlier is gravity. Gravity really resists unification. Gravity doesn't play well with quantum mechanics and that program to go all the way to push it further to the theory of everything. In this context, we are talking about the search for a comprehensive theory of gravitation, a task that has kept researchers busy since Einstein's time. For theoretical physicists, it remains the ultimate goal, often referred to as the holy grail. The ultimate goal is to unify quantum mechanics which describes matter at the smallest microscopic scales and at the highest energies. With gravity, the force that governs space and time at the largest scales. At the heart of this quest is the idea that the universe includes not only space and time, but everything that encompasses them. However, for reasons that have perplexed theoretical physicists, reconciling these two fundamental aspects of the universe has proven to be a daunting task. Therefore, scientists have turned to black holes as an ideal testing ground for such studies. Since black holes exist at the junction of these two regions in space-time, when we consider black holes as a location rather than an object, it's within this framework of space-time that we witness gravity becoming highly curved. Even if it doesn't culminate in the formation of a singularity, it brings about quantum phenomena as it involves discussing minute yet immensely energetic distortions and curvatures in space-time. However, narrating this narrative has proven to be a formidable challenge. The endeavor to express this concept has remained elusive, despite our attempts to sit down with pen and paper and envisage how gravity might be quantized. All such efforts falter on paper and in theory. It is possible that very few if any of us will ever actually experience falling into a black hole, much like the limited number of individuals who have encountered the quantum gravity of the Big Bang, our knowledge of these phenomena has significantly altered our perspective on our place in the world. This transformation is every bit as profound, if not more so, as the paradigm shift initiated by Copernicus, who displaced humanity from the center of the universe. It compelled us to accept that we orbit the sun, which is not the center of the galaxy, and that the galaxy itself is not the center of the universe. Moreover, there might even be multiple universes. Hence, this quest to comprehend is the most significant. Will we ever formulate a quantum theory of gravity? And when we do, we anticipate that this will lead to a theory of everything, enabling us to unify all the known forces into one cohesive framework. The idea is that everything in the vast universe, as well as all past events, can be deduced from one fundamental law of physics. Unification has made remarkable advances in theoretical physics when it comes to understanding the forces that govern matter. In the late 1800s, it was clear that electricity and natural magnetism were distinct phenomena, but over time they were unified into one overarching system known as electromagnetism describing the interactions of matter. However, the search for the ultimate theory of all things, the fusion of matter and gravity, may not be as successful. It is becoming increasingly clear to many professionals working in the field that there may be inherent limitations to unification, and it could even be argued that it will not succeed. This realization is underscored by the persistent problems associated with resisting the gravity of integration. At the beginning of the last century, famous mathematicians such as Kurt Gödel and Alan Turing discovered incompleteness theorems, showing that there are certain mathematical facts that can never be conclusively proved within the framework of mathematics. This idea is gradually taking hold of those who are engaged in the search for a theory of everything. They begin to think about the limitations of unification and come to believe that, in light of the unique problems of gravity, 
it would be wise to reconsider the fundamental nature of gravity itself, rather than insist on creating a theory of everything.